Hello, sociology students. This is Mrs. Politsky, and I have your notes for Chapter 4, Socialization, Socialization in the South. As we go along, make sure you jot down what you're going to need. So here we go. When we were together last, we were talking a little bit about what socialization is, and we're going to kind of continue with that. Uh, we talked a little bit about um, the concept of the looking glass self. And for the most part, some people are used as mirrors uh, more than others because of the judgments that people have towards them. Um, and particularly, we, we use people who are probably the most important people uh, in our lives as these mirrors uh, because of the fact that they are our significant others. Uh, we rely more often and most heavily, heavily on those people that we see as our mirrors. So it could be perhaps maybe uh, your parents or perhaps maybe a spouse or maybe a best friend. All these are individuals that you're gonna look to and their reactions as far as what your behavior is and, and whether or not it's uh, kind of meeting the norms. So when we talk about role taking, role taking is different from the looking glass process and that role taking allows us to see ourselves through the eyes of someone else. While the looking glass process involves our own imagination of the perceptions and opinions of others. So a lot of times when we talk about role taking, that could be taking on maybe a um, a character maybe in a play but it could also be like when children are playing and and they're taking on the role of let's say a parent or a teacher while they're playing and they're trying to convey what they first see as those ideal um roles or, or components of the roles as they are acting that out number 11 uh during the game stage um, just so we understand, there are different stages of um, learning how to play with others. Uh, and as we get older, we, we kind of look at these uh, in different ways. And one of the last areas is this concept of the game stage uh, in terms of role taking. A child's self-concept, for the most part, will come to depend less on individuals and more on general concepts. And this happens when the generalized to others becomes an integrated concept to the norms, to values, and beliefs of one's or one's society. And that re emerges to take place of what we would call the significant others. Uh, as we get older, we kind of understand what it's going to take for us to survive in the world that we live in. And yeah, we might look towards our best friends, but we also know that if we meet certain um, goals as far as what is considered the normal behavior, that we have a tendency to fit in. All right. Hope you got everything written down and thank you very much.